Surely he's not going to fold. I he, think he could fold he it. He would never fold. <clears throat> Surely he's got to raise him, see where he's at. He's got to put Barry to the question. Right, okay, you've bet that amount of money. What about if I come over the top of you? What are you going to do then? It's a tricky spot to be in, but has Robin played himself into this tricky spot? It's such a dangerous flop and turn. You just do not know what Barry's got. Barry could have anything. Hmm. Do you think Robin is thinking of... Um... It's very difficult to lay down oh, aces. Yeah. Nice. yeah. That's great play from Barry. It really is. Shows the 10. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Robin's saying, I could beat a lot of cards with that. What a play by Barry Hearn. <laughs> Robin is a bit of a Downing Thomas. It, it, it just seems incredible. I think because Robin checked, Barry checked and Robin checked, then that was probably a sense of weakness from uh, from Barry. And he thought, okay, well, you've well, checked it. point in line, you'll see it on the telly anyway. Won't you? King seven. You called that raise with King Seven. Oh, he showed the seven, Jesse. <laughs> he showed the seven. He didn't show the ten. I thought he showed the ten. Oh so the past possible straight, but he showed the seven. Well. What do you mean? Some, I see it online. I see it in about twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll find out in about twenty minutes. You go out there and uh, go out there and they. Uh, yeah, I'll find out. I can wait for you. I can wait. The bet's now five thousand. It was such a scary flop, though, wasn't it? And the turn card didn't help either. Dave Colclaw anyway, taking advantage nice of the commotion Pass. to raise to 5,000 under the gun with the king-queen, and Fraser's picked up a hand that's very good or very bad, and no. He's re -raise. That's Ian Fraser's style. He's not a calling station. Pass. He's definitely not a calling station. He Pass. likes to be aggressive. Pass. Well, best hand one. Let's check out the ranking of hands. Each five-card poker hand falls into the official ranking of hands. At the bottom of the ladder is high card only. Just above that, one pair. Aces are the high pair. Two pair is higher still. Uh, three of a kind, the next one up. That's self-explanatory, also called a set. And then a straight is above three of a kind. That's five cards in a row of any suit. A flush is five cards of the same suit in any order. Full house is three of a kind plus a pair. Four of a kind, self-explanatory really. And a straight flush is what you're looking for. That's five cards in a row, all of the same suit. Royal flush is top of the pops. That is a straight flush, ace high. I don't think it tells you anything, Charlie. Well, Robin Keston <laughs> clearly has the early idea not to get too deeply involved. We've Pass. seen him fold aces already. He's in a big blind right Pass. now. And uh, it's cold cloth on the button, Pass. not interested. Barry feels like he's got a bit of a psychological advantage Pass. on Robin right now. Wow, now he's got queens, well, they're <laughs> incredible. <laughs> I don't think he's laying these down. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think you'll come over the top of Barry, yeah? Right. Yep. I thought he was just calling for a second there. Yeah, no, it wouldn't have been a good call, just call. 20,000 more, 28 total. You're just doing this to me for last time, aren't you? You're getting your own back. Getting my own back implies that you had King 7? No. <laughs> you had less than King 7. Mm. Is Barry just mm. trying to get a read on Robin? I think Barry's showing Robin that seven has uh, given Robin the ump a bit, and he's thinking, OK, last time you bluffed me well. That's all right. He's having a go at him. not perfect. He's going to get a free look there. So a nice re-raise by Keston takes the pot. Barry Hearn is left to think, I've raised two pots and gotten re-raised twice. Are they after me? Yeah. It's not a good feeling when two, two pots on the trot, you get re-raised. Yeah, you're thinking, OK, what have I got to do to win a hand here? I mean, uh, they say it's poker, it's not personal, but it's hard not to take everything personally of at course. the table. Of course. <laughs> it is personal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely personal. <laughs> it's one of the it's beauties of the game. Personal poker. Pass. 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 2,000 to call. Raise. It's, uh, it's 8, Ian Fraser Pass. on the button and on a mission. pretty Pass. cards from Barry. Well, he's coming across very aggressive, isn't he? But he's getting the hands. He's getting the, the, the semi-good hands. And uh, he's doing, I think he's got a game plan here to be aggressive. 
He doesn't want to get eaten up and swallowed alive by these top pros. I think it's, it's funny how it goes, isn't it, Michael? I mean, you can come with one game plan, and then all of a sudden the cards dictate another. Whether or not mm -hmm. Barry came in to play or not, he's, he's just had some big raising hands. He has. He's, he's done very well. If you've got a game plan and it's not really going to, to plan, you've got to then go to plan B. <coughs> If the plates are tight and on my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think she'll be wearing one of your one of them Ian Fraser masks. <laughs> <laughs> so from this early action, uh, Ian Fraser looks to be the most dangerous right now to me at the table. He's only played one pot, but it was a stone cold bluff and he got away with it and he picked up chips. He's uh, he's one of those surgeons, you know, he makes every raise surgical and uh, precise. Paul? Yeah, he likes to limp in with his uh, trash hands. No raise. 8 4 against the ace 5, and Eddie London watching Ian like a hawk for this flop. And they've both hit a pair. Check. Although Eddie's is just ever so slightly better. <laughs> He's got a better hit. There's three diamonds on the flop. It's too dangerous to uh, get a free 5, card. 000. I can't remember if I got a diamond or <sighs> Little tickler from Eddie. About the size of the pot. And uh, Fraser flicks him away in disgust. Mm. So uh, everybody's been very careful with their stack. I mean, we've played 11 hands, and the low stack is Dave Colcloth, who has uh, 90,000. Fraser's in the middle, mate. about where he started. Yeah, with me. Uh, Nobody's done themselves any serious damage. No, it's not really got going yet. Cold cloth, not the sort to panic about going behind a tad early. No, he won't panic. He's so experienced. He knows what he's doing. He says he's been in bad form lately. Took a trip to play in a big tournament in Copenhagen Pass. recently. He spent Pass. four hours on the plane Pass. getting over there. Played for a half hour, got knocked out, and spent four hours coming back. <laughs> oh, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible, that so is. So he's had enough of Denmark. <laughs> 7,000 total. That was Ian Fraser from the button, 7,000 with the ace king. And uh, Eddie London in the tank here. Well, he's looking for a re-raise here. Eh? Re-raise to 21,000 total. He's in trouble. He is in trouble. He's thinking that Ian's being aggressive on the button. Pass. I think there could be a re-raise here from Ian. 14 to call. Oh, King Queen is severely dominated, and Fraser is one of those guys who has the bottle to push here. Yeah, I think Fraser will, uh, he could go as, uh, as, as big as going all in here, Jesse. I mean, does he have to worry that Eddie London could have kings or aces? Or is that just too unlucky to think about? That's just too unlucky to think about. I think Ian Fraser's style, he can't just flat call him. He's got to come over the top of him. I may be wrong. Eddie London is really out on the arm here. Uh, yeah, he's just flat called him. And, uh, they're going to peek at the flop. And I'll tell you what, if it comes all rags, uh, Fraser could be bet off this. Mm -hmm. If it comes a king, we could see fireworks. If it comes a king, it's all over. There's no help to either player. Has London got the bottle now? He's got to go through with it. He's re-raised a raise. Yeah, if he shows weakness, he's dead. <laughs> oh, that's gutsy. Wow. That's gutsy. 30,000. I'll tell you what, if Ian Fraser <laughs> comes over the top of here and goes all in, it will be the best move he'll ever make. But he can't. He's representing an over pair, isn't he? Internet qualifier Eddie London is taking these pros to task. I don't know what he put on his Wheaties this morning, but Tom, it sure worked. Without doubt, this is the biggest game I've played in. And I pretty much know all of the players from seeing them on TV. So it, for me, it's, it's uh, a great adventure to be playing with them tonight. I'm hoping to play a solid game and obviously ask the blinds go up. To, to step up a gear or two. And the main thing is uh, to enjoy myself. Pass. What was that 
little bit. Must be a tell. Robin, Cassie.